Hello and welcome to the weekly wrap-up video for the first frenetic busy week of the new year, Friday, January 12th, 2024. Well, as you know, we had a very busy schedule this week coming right out of the gate of the first official week of the new year. Uh, we had S the legendary SGN on, on Monday, uh, the wonderful Holly Saliano on Tuesday, the, the notable um, uh, Bill Holter on Wednesday. Sorry, a lot of a lot of videos to remember. And then Thursday, yesterday, we recorded with uh, stalwart David Mahoney. That should be out later today, along with this video. So that catches you up to date. We're looking at next week with uh, Denise on Denise Ball on Tuesday, uh, Rod Steele on Wednesday. And tentative date for either Lloyd Brunson or Melissa Redpill. We uh, we got a lot to queue up the rest of this month as we uh, took up the uptick of activity continues. Okay, now let's get into the quick rapid fire headlines of the financial and geopolitical news. Bank of America shares fall after negative Q4 reports. So the continue of continuation of bank failures ensues. Citibank is set to cut 20,000 jobs by 2026, according to their CFO. On the commodity front, it's a good day today. Uh, gold is up to, as of current rate right now, uh, this recording, $2,053.10. That's up 26%. Silver, $2,356, up roughly 1%. And oil, $7,341, 1.64%. Uh, We're going to talk about oil in a second. Uh, Ghana establishes debt relief for $600 million. That's just a, a first iteration of Dusara. Uh, an interesting little one here, Starlink team successfully sends and receives the first text message with uh, T-Mobile. So they're using some of the major carriers to do this. That was an interesting surprise. Uh, Texas is set to vote in March to implement their digital gold back coin. This will help them to achieve succession from the corporation known as the U.S. Deep State. It also secedes them from the union, and you can be sure that at least 30 plus other states are going to sign up for this right off the bat. Now, as is for oil, the first geopolitical bow across, shot across the bow has happened. There was an attack on some of our U.S. naval ships in the Red Sea. That was most responsible of the headlines uh, from Iran. I told you guys to watch Iran. You can see it starting to proliferate. Additionally, you're going to see the, the Red Sea attacks extend all the way to the Strait of Hormuz, which means we're going to see oil prices spike up to at least $150 to $200 a barrel. Once that happens, we're now watching as Iraq is getting their reforms and oil and gas laws into parliament, as I mentioned on some of the shows this week. As that happens, be watching Israel very closely because they're going to do their grave mistake and attack the secret nuclear oil, uh, secret nuclear plants, excuse me, uh, on Iran. And that's going to create a lot of chaos and panic. That is a distraction from what's going on in Iraq. So all eyes will be on the Middle East for the next several months, not to mention the upcoming China-Taiwan conflict. Uh, tomorrow, they, Taiwan hosts their elections. I would be watching closer to the end of this month for some of these events to start happening, rolling right into February, and then we'll see what happens from there. So that's a nice summation of things. Enjoy your weekend, your holiday weekend with Martin Luther King if you celebrate that. Uh, thanks for being faithful followers. God bless, and we'll see you very soon.